So we were all, when I told the team, like kind of like crying and like really excited because the goal has always been Junior Worlds, but it always seemed quite a little bit unrealistic and out of our reach. So. <laughs> good timing, good timing. We feel really proud to represent New Zealand at Junior Worlds as obviously we're the first junior team to come here before. So getting New Zealand out there is what motivates me. So it's really cool that to be a part of this, to be a part of the journey with this team. Because for us it's a New Zealand first, so it's really awesome to be a part of that journey. We've always just competed against ourselves. There's no other junior team in New Zealand. And the first time we travelled was to Sydney for the Sydney Synchro Festival in September last year. So other than that, we've never really competed against other teams. So seeing other teams that are a bit um, like gobsmacked watching them and having competition for once. It doesn't matter what any other team does, all we can focus on is what we can do. Um, I think there's a, a mixture of excitement and nervousness as well because it's so different to what they've experienced at home and so different to Australia. So many more teams, so many more people and the ranks here are huge. I think they're hoping to have a good clean skate um, and to improve on their mark from Sheffield. I think that's what their main goal is. I want them and I really hope for them that they can do the best that they have skated to date. We actually got personal bests a few weeks ago in Steel City Trophy for our short program and I'm hoping that we can continue to make some more improvements and get a new personal best. Just do the best that we possibly can. Have fun, yeah. make memories, show that you know it's possible that we can be here and we deserve to be here. happy but I'm really proud of you. You remember you've never skated in front of a crowd like this have we? How many times have we even skated against other teams? Twice. Once. Twice. No. This is our third. This is the third. Okay? Third time we've ever skated against other teams. We've got free skate tomorrow. Now that you've had an opportunity to skate in front of the crowd we can be more relaxed going into tomorrow and more confident. Yeah. Okay? Well done. In 2022, we didn't qualify for New Zealand Nationals, so we didn't have any opportunity to go internationally because they, won't, they won't, won't let us travel if we haven't gained the correct TES in there, um, what they've said. Despite that, we were able to do an exhibition skate at the National Championships and get some points for that, which was really hard for the team because they were that was their first year competing in junior and we hadn't really done many competitions. They just treated it as if it was competing at national champs and just we worked harder. Next year obviously we got to nationals and now qualified for junior worlds and here we are. We uh, also only had 13 skaters at nationals so since October we've gained four new skaters to meet the minimum requirements and so yeah I think they've shown a lot of resilience over the years. It was a big moment for our team. Yeah, When we found out that we qualified to come to Junior Worlds it was almost everyone was in tears or it was just so emotional for all of us. To see that like Tracy's hard work and dedication has really paid off we were really happy for her and we were all crying because we were happy for Tracy. Yeah.
never give up. If you want to achieve your goals, just keep persevering, work hard, keep pushing through. Like, nothing is unattainable, as we've learned, because we didn't think we'd be here, but here we are. The team's worked really hard. Just, my, my message would be, just keep pushing through. No matter how hard times feel, it doesn't matter. There's always going to be a better day ahead.